Welcome to Tete -a Tete with Sally. Our topic today is talent. What is talent? Talent is that thing that is so natural to you. You do it so naturally that everybody says, look how well she does this. Look how well he does this. That is talent. Now, what are the immediate needs of our youth today? Your question is always, what shall I become? How is this determined? It is determined by two things, ego or passion. What is ego? Ego is driven by status, by peer pressure, by your parents or the image makers. So what is passion? Passion is that thing that drives your heart, makes it hot and makes you excited when you think about a job, a, a hobby or something that you do that just makes you incredibly, incredibly excited. So what drives pa passion? Passion drives talent. And if you add training to that, passion drives talent. And if you add training to that, it leads to excellence. That is what passion is all about. So to know your talent, what is talent again? Talent is that thing that you do so naturally. You do it so naturally that people say, oh my God, look at how she's doing this. She's so good at it. He's so good at it. You are not even aware yourself how good you are at what you're doing. So what do I mean by talent versus livelihood? I mentioned earlier about how my parents wanted me to do law because my mother and father are lawyers and I love law as well. But my passion had always been painting, being an artist. And in college in Europe, they said, oh, your talent, your talent. They talk about talents because they say to you, whatever you do, if you want to be a shoemaker, you want to be a carpenter, you want to be a seamstress, do it with passion. In Europe, they tell you whatever you do must be with your heart. It doesn't matter what it is. So there's no focus on everybody must be a lawyer, everybody must be an architect or an engineer. And so livelihood. So I thought about it. Now, 30, 40 years later, I'm realizing that listening to my father really, really helped me and my mother too. Why? Because if I had followed my talent, I would not have had a livelihood today. So make sure that while you pursue your talent, you must have a balance. You must balance it to see that what you're pursuing as a talent will give you a livelihood. And so timing becomes really important. How do you time it? Is it the right time? Like in my time, 30 years ago, no parent wanted their children to be musicians or artists because the society would not encourage you to make a living out of it. And so it's very, very important that the timing, the era, these are important things to pers in pursuing your talent. Because if your talent can give you a livelihood, then go for it. And so you need to calculate, you need to be strategic. You must be strategic with every decision that you make. So if you cannot do, you have a livelihood with it, please put it as a later hobby, like I've done. I've continued to paint. I was angry with my father. I couldn't see why my mom wanted me to be a lawyer right now. I said, look, I like law, I like art. Let me do law, let me do art as my foundation course for the first year. Then I go back to university and do my law. But my dad said, look, you are too artistic. I'm not going to let you escape. So he brought me back to Nigeria and I did my law in Nigeria. And that has really, really helped me. The success story I have today is because of my listening to my father, because I assessed my talent to see if, if it would give me a livelihood. But of course, I did this with the help of my parents. So always seek advice, seek counseling. Your parents have been there before. They will always give you advice that will be the best for you. And most of all, pray, pray always about decisions you're going to make. So what I will say is, follow your passion and not your ego. I talked about ego before and I talked about passion. Passion is good. 
if it will create a livelihood for you, then it becomes an immediate passion you pursue. If it would not create your livelihood, then you move it to later and take something that will create a livelihood for you. But very important is that you follow your passion and not your ego. Don't care about your peers, what they're saying. Don't care about what other people tell you. You will know what is your talent because you have a passion for it. So that's all we have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed my little chat. Don't forget, for a tete-a-tete -tete anonymous, those of you who have private problems you'd like to discuss quietly and privately, you can go to our tete-a-tete -tete anonymous WhatsApp chat people. First person is Ashley for the ladies. You have Raf and Paul for private counseling. Having said all this, what do the scriptures say? Over to you. Let's hear your thoughts. I look forward to the debate. For now, thank you for being with me on Tete-a-Tete -tete with Sally. Ciao. Bye.